In this video, I'll be talking to you for a bit about travel vlogging and the best gear to use when you are travel vlogging. Seems like most of the people that watch this channel really love gear, like myself. And so it seems like a lot of people have access to a lot of different types of systems. So I don't want to say anything too specific, like you need, you know, this particular setup in order to be able to do it just perfectly or some other kind of setup, but kind of to keep with general principles and themes to be most effective while you're trying to get your travel vlog and put it together. I was just in Cancun and uh, Isla Mujeres, and in the process, I wanted to, er, in, in that journey, I wanted to, instead of typically, instead of doing as I typically would and keeping a journal, I wanted to vlog the experience. First, I'm gonna talk about what I took and why I took it, and then I'm gonna tell you about my thoughts on what I did. So I took my Alpha 6300, which is filming right now. I took the 30 mil lens from Sigma that's filming right now. I took my 16 to 50. I took my Canon 6D and 24 to 105, and my 85 f1.8. And these ended up being just about the perfect. Uh, this this all ended up being just about perfect for me. There were a couple of times when I really wanted to get some some really solid portraits um, of myself and my buddies, and so I was able to put my 85 on my 6D and get a couple of really great portraits. Hey, will you take a, just a really quick minute and press the like button? And if you dislike it, that's fine. That'll actually give it more reach. I hope the content that I publish is bringing a lot of value to you. So thank you very much and let's get back. There were other times when I wanted to just be able to carry the whole thing around with me. Um, and that's when I used my Alpha 6300 and my 16 to 50. And then there were some other times when I wanted a spare camera so that someone else could use it, one of my other, one of my buddies could use it, and so that's what this ended up being. Um, I also did an entire vlog when we visited Tulum uh, with this camera, and I thought it did a great job by and large. I thought the audio, especially with the, with the wind attenuator thing on, did a great job. Um, the, the, the onboard microphone did, by comparison to what I was expecting from it, it was very usable. Um, so that's kind of what I took, and I'm gonna tell you why I took it here in a second. So I took the 16 to 50 and the 24 to 105 because those are the two most versatile zooms that I have for each respective system without investing more into each of them because I'm not yet sure which one I want to invest more heavily in. So my first takeaway, my tip number one is travel with your kit lens because it doesn't matter nearly as much if it gets, you know, sea sprayed on it. It doesn't matter as much if it gets damaged. There are other options that are really good that you can also pick up, or you can just pick up another copy of these kit lenses for really cheap, especially used in good condition. My next tip is be small. I predominantly used my Alpha 6300 during all of it. I, I really only busted this out twice, and it was to take portraits once, to give to a buddy once, so I only used it tw once out of those two so far, and then to vlog Tulum. And it was massive and a huge pain and it drew a lot of attention from the INAH authorities at the site um, for its size. So my, my second tip is keep it small because small will mean less weight to be constantly carrying around on your Gorillapod and or it's also going to, to get into a lot more places with a lot less scrutiny because more people are gonna say, oh, that's just a small little camera than say, oh, that looks like a really professional rig. So my tip number three is be really intentional about what you're trying to get. So, um, so that you can know for next time what pieces of kit you might want or just to, to get everything that you possibly can because you won't get another chance. And these, the wider angles, so this equivalent is 24 to 70 just about, and this one obviously 24 to 105. Um, those allowed me to get those more sweeping options. I guess the tip number three is go with zooms, don't go with primes. I wanted, I almost always wanted a wider angle 
when I was traveling because I wanted to ca capture more of what I was seeing and I was seeing so many cool things, so many cool vistas that my eyes could capture so much more of than my camera lenses could. Tip number four is keep it wide because you can always crop in with 4K and stuff like that. Um, or you could even output in something like 720 if you're gonna shoot with a camera that only shoots 1080 because what's important is getting your shot right and so you can worry about all the rest of that a little bit later. And I think tip number five is to be really intentional about, in terms of gear, in not taking too much. And for me, what that would have meant is literally only taking the kit lenses. I used the 30 once, I used the 85 once, and I'm really glad that I had them for those times. However, I didn't need to get those pictures, and I didn't need to get those pictures with those lenses. And when I was trying to give these cameras to my friends, if I wanted to, them to take a picture of me, or if they wanted, if I wanted to let them just take all the pictures they wanted, they were they were always looking for where's the zoom, where's the zoom. When I gave them the prime, because they're not photographers, they they couldn't look at it and say, oh, that's a prime. They just assumed that I was handing them a camera with a lens that they had to manipulate in some way to get the shot that they wanted by a zoom ring as opposed to with their feet. That, I think, is the other big takeaway is zooms are easier to hand off to other people. I guess, yeah, tip number five is zooms are easier to hand off to other people to help you get the shots of yourself that you want um, or, of, or if you're going to give it to a friend or something like that to help them get the shots that they want. I think that's about it. I really appreciate your time and your attention. Um, and I, I really want to bring more of this type of content, like how-to content, um, tutorial type stuff. So please leave a comment below and, and um, help start a conversation with me on what some of that content looks like. I'm intending on sooner than later, hopefully being able to get into that Sigma 100 to 400 like I, uh, like I asked a couple videos ago, if anybody would be interested in me making a video like that. So hoping to do that soon. But if there's more tutorial stuff, please let me know. Uh, that this is another example of, of your voice being able to be heard by me and me trying to act on uh, what you're looking for out of this channel and my commentary and my ability to to share that information with you. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, check out the links in the description. I really appreciate your time and your attention and I'll see you in the next one.